African presidents have always been on the news for banning some of the most ridiculous things you have ever heard. From banning specific names to even jogging. Why are you running? Yep, it was a crime. These African presidents took ban culture to another level. Oafa presents seven things you wouldn't believe got banned by African presidents. After Guinea's independence, President Sekou Touré set his sights on establishing a new socio-political order. He called it African Socialism, a synthesis of African values and modern ethics. But one thing got in his way though, masks. Specifically, those using rituals and celebrations of any kind. You see, masks in Guinea represented traditional authority. Thus, these inanimate objects posed a greater threat to his government than any other standing army. As a result, he issued a decree banning masks, particularly the Chiwara. A man was severely punished after a mask was discovered in his luggage while traveling abroad. You see, not only was it illegal to wear these items, but it was also illegal to take them out of the country. The man's entire family was expelled from Guinea. There is nothing wrong with promoting African culture and values because the people still got to make their own choices. But this could never happen under the reign of Mobutu Seseko. Mobutu Seseko was a man of style and he got a lot on his to-do list right after he became the president of Congo. First, he banned Congolese men from wearing European suits. They had to wear something that looks like this. There was more. No one else in Zaire could wear a leopard print hat but him. Mobutu also decreed that TV in Zaire could not mention anyone but him by name. Every news bulletin also had to begin with a scene of him descending from the heavens because Zaireans needed to remember that he was a deity. He also banned European names. Congolese with Christian names were ordered to change their names to African names. Priests were warned that anyone caught baptizing a Congolese child with an European name would face a five-year jail sentence. The flamboyant Libyan leader, Muammar Gaddafi, had a penchant for flair. During his rule, the country had zero foreign debt. He owned a bank that issued loans at zero interest. There was no electricity bill. Electricity was free. Newlyweds would get a huge sum of money from the government to buy their first apartment. In his dreams for Libya though, Gaddafi did not see it fit for his people to be housemates and so banned any Libyan to work as a house help. Europeans living in Libya at the time had to let go of their house helps as well. Oh, this one is tight. I am speaking as a great man who is the conqueror of the British Empire. His Excellency, President for Life, Alhaji Dota Idi Amin Dada, VC, DSO, MC, Lord of all beasts and fishes of the seas, and the conqueror of the British Army in Africa and Uganda in particular, was a leader like no other. And yes, that was his name. Idi Ami got his name Dada, that is Swahili for sister, for his love for girls, or I should say, lust. Idi Ami banned women from using deodorants, perfumes, and creams. He again banned mini skirts, wigs, and trousers. Idi Ami also ordered the streets to be cleared of unmarried women as they were alleged to be prostitutes. His officers also mounted a crusade to force single women in the country to marry. The self-styled natural pharmacist Yaya Jame, former president of the Gambia, banned antiretroviral drugs in his country after he invented his own cure for AIDS. I'm here to treat HIV patients and Gambians for that matter. And people are coming to be treated. It's not only HIV AIDS but asthma. Guess what his medicine was made of? Some green substance, a bitter drink and a banana. In one of his hospital visits, Yaya Jame pulled out a plastic container, said a brief prayer, and rubbed a green paste on a patient's ribcage. 
He then ordered his patient to swallow some bitter concoction, followed up with two bananas, sweet after meals. Dan, AIDS is cured. I'm not afraid because uh, I believe, as according to what the president said, that he is certain of his herbal medicine, that he can cure HIV. Could this be a placebo effect or just the fear of opinion? Leave us a comment down there. Zimbabwe's first president had a rare problem, his name, Kenan Banana. He used to be ridiculed for the fruity nature of his surname. So in 1982, he passed a law banning any citizen from making jokes about his name, the fruit, or both. One common joke at the time was that after he had introduced himself to Prince Philip, the prince asked whether he came alone or he came in a bunch. But he wasn't the only one to ban a specific name. The first president of Malawi, Hastings Kamuzu Banda, had a name problem too. But not his, rather his mistresses. Cecilia Tamanda, in 1970, came a popular song titled Cecilia. Banda and Cecilia's relationship was apparently rocky at the time. And the song's lyrics, Cecilia, you are breaking my heart, became the meme of its time. This made the president so much angry that he banned the song and that presumably fixed things back at home. One of the most subversive things you could do in Burundi is to jog in a group. There are already people serving prison sentences just for jogging. The ban was enacted in 2014 because Pierre Nkurunzi's government thought opposition parties were using them to plan uprisings. There is a context to this. Walking or jogging in groups is a favorite pastime in Burundi. During the civil war in the early 90s, soldiers would run through the streets singing. Younger Burundians took to it as well, and jogging clubs became akin to social units. But if you really, really feel the desire to jog during the reign of Pierre Nkurunzi, this is how you could. 1. You join a jogging club and register with the government. 2. You answer a barrage of questions about the jogging group. 3. You choose from a list of only 9 approved places where you can legally run. Once done, you are now a law-abiding jogger. Is that a real word? Which of these bands is the most ridiculous to you? Leave us a comment down there. Uh, sub to the channel if you love the video. Share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. As usual, I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.